Philly, hey. how are you doing? Love to yeah, see good. you again. Good. So, uh, new system, new uh, new year, new everything, new yeah, Bristolica. New, new synthesizer. This is Crick. Uh, this is Beautiful. a fully standalone, fully analog, uh, pin matrix patchable synthesizer. It's based on a bunch of our kind of Eurorack designs, uh, namely the recombination engine for the oscillator section and our timbral sculptor for the filter. Um, but it's not just those modules in a box. It's a lot of kind of tweaking, making sure that these things play well together. Yeah. Uh, four function generators, standalone VCA, sample and hold, all sorts wow, okay. of stuff. Um, comprehensive inputs, outputs. Um, and it's kind of what I've wanted to see on the synth market for, I guess, a long time. It's, it's taking experiences from, well, playing with some of the greats and kind of taking influence from what is brilliant about those and what I think maybe could be added to them now that we're in the 2020s. Yeah, I so, mean, I've actually yeah. got a beaut I mean, there's a very comprehensive pitch matrix. Yes. And you'll start, I mean, you know, we, we can't forget the, uh, was it Malevolent, which was very, and, and some of the other future sound systems yeah. is, is <laughs> yeah. sort of quite, you know, aggressive and angry. And mm. is, what, how would you characterize this? The, well, the it, this? It, it's kind of supposed to cover all ground. I right. mean, it definitely caters to my taste, maybe. So you can twist things up a little. I mean, I'll start this sequence, if you like. Um, so I've got this running as kind of like your standard 3VCO thing. Um, just a couple of rows on the SQ1. And I'm running a little kind of noisy snare thing here using the fourth function generator as a clock for the sample and hold. So, nice. just to show that it can do a few things at once, you know. So, this is all very kind of basic stuff. If I maybe mute the scissor, uh, sort of, what I'll do is I'll bring in kind of what makes this a bit different. So, our recombination kind of technique is, I guess, a, a different way of generating waveforms. We take like the square wave from the scissor and we imagine that when the square wave is positive, we're listening to the positive DNA, and when it's negative, we're listening to the negative DNA. So you can enable that here, you can bring the sync in, and then you're able to generate quite complicated... like harmonic patterns, but yeah. it's still locked in its pitch. It's still taking the fundamental from the scissor. We can do things like the PW skew, which I really like, where the shape control influences the frequency of the two DNAs. So you start to get these quite formanty things in. If I take the, the sine waves, and I can then get that modulated, I'll take, I don't know, the first function generator to the shape as well. And I think I've still got this row going into input one. I'm not sure if it's doing much at the minute. So yeah, it's also got kind of a lot of filtering options. So at the moment, we're just listening to the low pass. If I let this drone, I'll take out the level for the low pass. And then a band pass. And what filter type is that? Is that a kind of uh, specific mod? So it's a, it's a VCA based 18 dB per octave. Um, yeah, it's based around an SSI 2164. It's right. the same thing that's in our Tombral Sculptor module. Right. So if you've heard that, you've kind of heard the character of this. We've kept all the wave folding on the input. So, you know, you can throw this in. Bring that down a bit. Ah, oh, there it is. That's the, there's, that's, that's there's the future. There's the roar, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and do all sorts of, you know, if I really blast this out, 
Yeah, yeah, race isn't there. So yeah, it's kind of really meant to just be a bit of a sonic playground, you know. We're and we're we're actually really happy to see it. We we were a bit kind of worried that people would just think, oh, it's another monosynth. Who cares? Well, it's not. I mean, the, the, I mean, the inevitable conclusions with EMS just because of the the sort of scientific nature, just because of the pin yeah. board, you know. Yeah. I mean, but that yeah. enab that's a big enabler when it comes to where you can go, right? Yeah, yeah. And you know, we kind of envisage this being maybe the heart of, you know, not necessarily the, a whole electronic music studio, but you can bring pedals in and out of this. I was doing patches where I'd have oscillators sending to reverbs back into Crick before the filter, so you'd get all these interesting so tails and I've things just, like that. I think I've just clicked on the crick. So is it cricklewood that is kind of short? No, of, no. no. Oh, so okay. It's named Crick after Crick and Watson, who, so a friend of ours who has done some amazing illustrations that will be in the manual and on the packaging. Um, she said, well, you've got this whole recombination engine thing, which takes the DNA. Right, concept. so it's the DNA guys. Crick uh, and Watson. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I that's see. that's where the name comes from. But it was interesting because it, like, the Cricklewood thing didn't even you know, clock. Yeah, occur you didn't. to me until yeah people said, "Oh, I see what you've done." You know, it's EM. Yeah, I'm so. yeah, I'm just I'm, I'm just late to the party. Yeah. <laughs> so um, available? Were you are you shipping yet? Yeah. So we're hopefully shipping about the end of the month. We've got enclosures coming later this week. That's really what we're waiting for. We. At the workshop, there are I, panels. I've got a, yeah, I've got a shout out for the end panels. Oh, Love yeah. Those. The, the, so these end cheeks are from a Glasgow-based company called Merle. That's M-I-R-R-L. They do fantastic work. Uh, put on to us by Alex at Signal Sounds. Nice. And um, Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Each one is different. So your synth will look slightly different from all the other synths. Nice. Um, but yeah, we're just waiting for the enclosures to ship from Poland, which should be landing this week. Uh, then got to get the cardboard boxes made, which should take three or four days. And then they should be shipping out. So really hoping that we can make that end of October. We've said the 7th of November just to be safe. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah. And I, I'm guess, I mean, it looks like a chunk of sin. So it's what, it's a couple of grand, something like that? It's 2499 RRP. Right. So okay. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Well, good luck to you, Finn. Thanks, Lovely to see you back on the block. Yeah, cheers, man. <laughs>